niece Mercedes from Colorado and her daughter, my great niece Isabella. Say hi to whatever. Say whatever. Yeah. Welcome to another Parenting Live. Today we're going to be talking about how to create an environment for your child's voice. Yes. After we get our dance on. We're still in party mode from my birthday party the other day. Right? Yeah. It's a good time. Join us when you're ready. You join us when you're ready. <laughs> All right, we're going to turn down the musica. Sadies, do you have your, um, yeah. We're just going to get a couple little tech things out of the way, and then we'll get started on our topic. Uh, you have to uh, turn it down because we'll have a feedback mm -hmm. and all that, all that jazz. <laughs> and I'm going to be looking at a device for comments for this life. Um, yeah. yeah. Right, Isabella? Yeah. So, Isabella, tell them about the birthday party. Was it fun? Yeah. We had a good time, right? We did a lot of dancing, a lot of dancing. Okay, one second, everybody. Just want to be in position to answer your comments. Make sure why does it why is it sideways? Oh, every week is something different. Every week is something different with Facebook. So are we showing on the right side on yours? Because we're not on mine. Uh, we're no, nope, we're showing sideways. I'm sorry, everybody. I don't know. I don't understand what's going on with Facebook. You have to turn it up, it up and down. I've never had to. Sorry, everybody. One second. Give me time right. to join the room. Yep. Come on in the room. Yep. <laughs> so hang on one second. Let's just make sure this is right side. Hello, everybody that's watching. I see there's a few people watching. Siéntate bien, por favor. Siéntate bien. Gracias. All right. I still see us sideways. Is your flip on? It, yeah, it's supposed to be on. Did you take it off? No. Oh. Welcome. <laughs> One second. Oh, think it's the right way. It's the right way. Yeah. It's the right you way. You have the whole family today, as you can see. It's the right way. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I'm looking at art. Come on. See? Okay. All right. I don't know why it's not right on here. It That's the right way up. Okay, Nadine said it's the right way yes. up. Okay, gracias, Nadine. Can you see all three of us? Hi. Hola. Como estas? I hope you can see all three of us. All right. What you doing? Are you recording? Nope. Did you share it? Yeah, that's my share. Can you bring it? Okay, never mind. Mine's is straight. Mine's is straight. Mine's okay. straight. Okay. All right. Technical difficulties out of the way. All right. So let me introduce myself and then I'll introduce my guests. So um, my name is Shauna Hibbets and I am an early childhood specialist of 25 plus years. I have an on and offline comprehensive tools on everything childcare, which is my brand that I created. Um, you could get up at any time you want, Isabel, okay? And come back, okay? And so um, my niece was in town for my birthday party, and my great niece was also in town, so I'm very happy to have them here. So we wanted to talk about how to create spaces. What is that sound coming from? How to create an environment for your child's voice. Thank you, Mercedes. <laughs> I'm up here like, what is that sound coming from? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, um, we want to talk a little bit about how to kind of create, um, like, a, or initiate, right? We were talking about earlier, like, open communication and dialogue with your children, no matter what age they are. If they're this young, um, all the way up to teens or preteens. Come on, Mia. You got the whole family today. Um so, yeah, so we were talking about, you know, just giving a child a place and a space where they can express themselves, where they have a voice, 
really feel empowered. Right, Isabella? Yes. Right. And what do you think, Isabella? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and so um, just, you know, just having like that open dialogue, right? And just making sure that we are creating time for them to be able to express themselves. So more importantly, what Sadie and I talked about before was we want them to feel comfortable, right? Right, comfortable. So comfortable to have that open dialogue amongst any uh, adult figure in their life. We can't just say just mom and dad now, mm -hmm. but definitely want them to be feel comfortable and embrace the fact that they have the ability to communicate properly. Yeah, for sure. Without a doubt. Yeah, without a doubt. And of course, you know, we have rules on how, you know, communication should be with adults and right. with your parents and stuff like that. But right now we just want to focus on creating those. Uh oh, sorry. Cuidado, mamacito, okay? Siéntate bien. Siéntate bien, por favor. Gracias, mama. So we want to be able to just create spaces for them to be able to have a voice, right? So um, my favorite, and this will be for any topic that I speak about, when you're creating spaces and places in the environment to have open communication and your child feels comfortable communicating with you or with other adults, we have to model the behavior. And what I mean by that is we want the behavior where we allow them to be able to express themselves, right? right? Mm -hmm. And give them, be okay with those cringe moments. I call it cringe moments. So when my son was younger, which Mercedes is the same age as my son, she's 30. And um, there were moments and um, topics or things from the time he was single digit till he got older, he shared stuff with me and I cringed. My whole insides were cringe, but I soon realized that I needed to be open enough to listen to what he wanted to express to me, right? Mm -hmm. So that he can always feel like he can come to me, right? Exactly. I didn't want to close it off because if you close off the communication, what ends up happening is children will stop communicating with right. you. Mm -hmm. right? They will feel like they cannot embrace you or come to you or open up in those, those hard topics. Yeah, situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you make it easy for them when they're younger, then it'll be easy for them when they get older, right? Exactly. Yeah. Start, start early. Yeah, start <laughs> early. So we want to make sure we model the behavior. And then we wanted to throw the question out there to you. Uh, what methods do you use um, to hear your child's voice? And, and again, it doesn't mean, it's just their expression, the way they feel. What methods do you use? So if you, if you um, could answer that question and we can have some dialogue on that. That would be awesome. I'm gonna look at some comments right now and see who's on. Thank you, Nadine, for letting us know that the video was good and everything. I appreciate that. Hi, Dee Dee. Got mommy Dee Dee. Say hi to God, mommy Dee Dee. Mm. She said hi. <laughs> Danielle Nugget is watching. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Thank you. So yeah, if what are some ways that you come up with to give your child a voice? So I'll give you an example of what I ended up doing for my guests at my party. So my party, as you know, I turned 50 years old the day before yesterday, and I had this big bash that I decided to plan and throw about 90 days ago, and it was, it was a really great bash. So I had a lot of folks I wanted to be there that had children, and they didn't have anybody that can care for their children to come to the party. So me being Miss Shana, right, in any length, Yes. Right? I really should have probably had more kids at my party than adults. Right. <laughs> so I let the families know, you know, if your child has like pillows or blankets or books and toys and uh, like tents, bring those down to the hall. That way they have an area where they can retreat when they needed their time, you know, away from adults or to unplug. Isabella, can you tell them about your tent? My tent is... Like it's a lava and it and it's like it's a it's a setup tent and it just decoration it and then when we know what is bigger it's a lava uh, um a lava tent and it's why that's why that's why it's right here. And what else came with your tent? Something that you lay in. I lay in the tent. With my Greek Emily, mm -hmm. I walked with my tablet, guys, and I know that if we do to do some do, do things, and we know why we do things, because we lose. 
Okay, that's true. So you were able to keep all your things together and enjoy the party at the same time, would you say? Yeah. What about the dancing part? Did you feel you were able to express yourself around the adults and be yourself? Good. Did good. you get to dance a lot? <laughs> yes, she did. We had a blast. We had a blast. Hey, Q, how are you? Yeah, so we had, we had a blast at the party. So that was just an example of how I had to think of a way to incorporate the kids in yeah. the party to make sure that they feel like it wasn't just an adult party, even though it was. I wanted them to feel included and I wanted them to have a voice. And um, let me tell you, those children were jamming on that floor. Yes, they were. <laughs> that they ended up pulling a lot of adults out of their seats to come and dance and join with them. So it was a, a really great time. So yeah, let me see. It also shows that, you know, um, you're giving your child an opportunity to see what they can develop um, into later on as adults. And when they become parents, it shows them that, you know, they're giving that open, um, being open enough to say, you still have a part in this and you still have a part to play in this. And this is the order that we do things. And this is how we function around everyone and elegance and, and um, empowerment. And then also with uh, just them still being able to be kids around a whole bunch of adults too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it definitely was a fun opportunity for, for the kids to have their own little section and their own station. Mm -hmm. That's also, also comes with a uh, go back to our topic of communication because mm -hmm. you want your child to be able to feel the love, feel being part of at all times, but we we talk to them about certain things, but if they don't experience those certain things that we communicate with them about, then they will not really know the yeah. full picture. Yeah, so. that's a good point. It solidifies all the lessons that you're teaching them mm -hmm. um, and, and just creates the, uh, a more powerful meaning for, instead of do as I say, not as so I do kind yeah. of teaching, you're actually putting them in a space where they can express themselves, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, show you that they can follow rules and, and do yes, things the right way. Thing. And I think like every day, even in everyday life, your environment plays a huge part on how your child responds to life, how they respond to you, how they respond to themselves, how they feel empowered, right? Yes. And so we have to make sure that through the day they're able to express themselves and that's why I'm big on like the arts, you know, I'm big on the arts. I'm big on because these are outlets, especially if you have like a shy child or a child that, um, you know, may not be as verbal. They may be able to communicate and articulate in other ways, too. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole nother topic. But yeah, you know, that's important as well. Let's see what our comments are. Let's see. Nadine said, nice to see you all today. Let them know they can tell me anything Oh, let them know that they can tell me anything. It's good to express themselves and encourage them to write a letter if they're upset. So Ooh. Nadine Barrett is over across the pond. She's one of my London sisters. <laughs> and, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> and so Nadine, um, she actually coaches. She's a life coach and she uh, part of her business is she coaches teens. And so um, she deals with a lot of teens. So teen parents on here, if you have any questions, you might want to toss them on here real quick while Nadine's on here, but <laughs> she um, works with a lot of teens and, and what they're going through and everything. And so encouraging them to write a letter, that is big deal. And if they can't write, you know what else just came to my mind? They could voice record maybe what they can express. Maybe if they don't want to write it, you know, maybe they could voice record. Maybe they could do a video. And even nowadays, you know, uh, in the new gener newer generations, a text message is their way of writing a letter. I know. So we have to I keep know. that in mind. Yeah. That writing a letter so is our own. I'm a or the move forward generational thing. Some parents aren't uh, receptive to the text messaging era, but mm -hmm. I would say that that's what our generation is now and that's their form of communication I know. and I have to accept that you know be me being coming from a different generation um I don't know it's uh, like I, I do accept a lot of the new ways you know but there are some things that I'm kind of like super traditional on but if you that is better than nothing like, exactly. I'd rather not have like zero communication, communication. from exactly. my child or anything of that nature. So mm -hmm. if it means that they need to do it that way, I get that too. Yes. I get that too. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. So let's see what else. Any more comments? Any more um, 
Did everybody hear the question? Okay, I well, can say it again. What methods do you use to hear your child's voice? So we saw how Nadine handles her teen. She, she and says, if, write a letter. If you are watching this replay, please go ahead and drop a comment in there. You could put hashtag replay to let us know that you rewatched this. And then that way we can go back and answer your questions or your comments as well. Um, that's always helpful if you can replay the video, which is a great thing that Facebook offers that. So yeah, just do hashtag replay and then answer the questions. And if you have any comments or if there's any topics that you'd like to hear moving forward, we can add that onto the show as well. And we'll respond as quickly as yep, we can. As quickly as possible. My niece is flying out today. <laughs> so she's going back to Colorado. So that's why I needed to do this parenting live today. And she was like, I'd like to come on there. And I'm like, oh, that, that would be really cool. Why not? Yeah. So now we're gonna let Isabella have her voice. And Isabella's gonna talk to you a little bit about um, what you gonna talk to them about? Okay, sit up. They can't yeah, hear you. They're looking speak. at you in there. Yeah. Okay, so let them know about that. How do you feel about those? I feel about those because I was learning them while I was doing my tablet card. And what what type of language are you in? I learn Spanish. Yes. Are we gonna go over some cards today? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Remember that one? I, I am strong. strong. I am strong. Soy fuerte. Soy fuerte. Yes. I, have, I pulled out a new one for her. Okay. I have a voice. I have a voice. Tengo una voz. Tengo a voice. Good job, Isabella. How did the cars make you feel? Good. Good. Inside and out? Good. And we do them every week together on video chat since we don't live in the same state, right? Yeah. Where do you live? I live at, at, at um, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Colorado. Colorado. But you Colorado. were born in Ohio, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So what should we tell them? Go get their what? Their empowerment card. Can you yeah. shout it? Now you can Go scream. Go get your empowerment card. Go get your empowerment card. Yes. <laughs> the link is at the top. And don't forget to uh, like this video. Please share it out for anybody you think that can uh, benefit from it, right? Yep. Tag your friends. Um, hashtag them if you like. Um, at at e uh, Nanny Link. And yeah. uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe. Yes, please do. You please know? Subscribe to your channel. Click that subscribe to your channel. That's right. Bye, YouTube. Bye, Mom. All right. We're going to say adios. You want to dance adios. our way out of here? Yeah. All right, let's get some musica on, and we're going to dance our way out of here. Yeah. Thank you for Thank joining you for us joining. today. Yeah, we appreciate it. Una, un momento. Hola. Hola. If you like to, please get off your sofa. If you're on your sofa, on a chair, wherever you're, with us. Yeah, wherever you're viewing, mm -hmm. we can move the chairs on the side, too. <laughs> Hey, Mia. Okay, it's all right. Mia okay, likes to let me know when the phone is ringing. Thank you, Mia. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know that. Can you move my chair from the side, yeah. Isabella? Watch out, Mia. <laughs> Let's see what they got on. Oh, this is good.
going to be back at 5 next Sunday, live at 5. Thank you for tuning in. Woo! <laughs> That's for mommy. <laughs>